advanced hydrogen, uh, part, I don't know what part this is, four, five, six. <laughs> this truck just, it just keeps going and going and going. Um, okay, where I left off, I said I was going to split the feed going into the dry cell. Here's the main wire coming off of the positive, and it goes through two 60 amp fuses, these big monster fuses. You're looking at that, they're big. See my thumb? See that? Okay, off a metal block, there's a metal block in here. Um, I, I, I'm gonna have to do a video on all the fuses I've melted doing this hydrogen stuff. This is the best setup I've found so far, is it, these fuses are on metal. And these don't melt so far. I'll let you know if we melt this. This is going to two relays. These are 40 amp relays. I don't believe it. It does say 40 amp on top, but I seriously don't believe it. Because when you run these things at 30 amps, they, they melt, you know. Um, so I got two of them. One of them costs like seven bucks. The other one costs like nine bucks. And we're just trying them out. This one's supposed to be uh, 50 or 60 amps, I can't remember. But this is a high dollar relay, and we've already melted one, killed it. So what I did was I split the hydrogen cell. These wires do not go back into one and then go in the cell. They're actually split all the way back to the cell. If you look down here, get down in here, you'll see two wires, two relays, two wires. This third wire is the ground. See, it goes over here, I'll pull on it. Okay, that's the ground. So we come down here. And you got three wires, two separate wires going to the two separate tabs. I don't know if you can see that. See them? There's two separate tabs on top of this dry cell. And I can see them. You can see how I soldered them on. Put my finger in there. There's, if I get my hand in there, one, two. One relay, two relay. Now we got it. Get this. What's happening is, is I have on my videos, I have an inlet and an outlet on one side of the cell. There's like a front side, we'll call the front side where the water goes in the front. And then this side here, which is the back side, you see there's no no fittings on here. What I discovered is, because we ran these two relays, is that the side that does not have the fittings is at low amperage. Okay? What my theory is, is that the back side of the cell is not getting any electrolyte. Okay? If I disconnect the, the uh, fuse for the side of the cell that has the inlet and the outlet, do it up over here. Hang on a second. I'm having trouble here. Okay, was that the right one? No, <laughs> of course not. Hang on. Ugh. All right. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about the camera work. I reconnect this fuse. I take the other one out. This is the side that has the water and this is the side that doesn't. Now just one side of this cell is running and look, the amperage is going up, okay? You see that? There it is right there. See how it's climbing up? Okay, the side that does not have the water connectors on it, the amperage is going up, which means now it's getting water or is it just burning up the water that's in it? I don't know. Okay, now I'm gonna connect the other side. Watch what the amperage does when I connect the other side. So I just drop. Okay, so what I'm assuming is is that the back side of the cell, the cell does not have the two nylon connectors, is starving for water. My original cell design was that I had to put the connectors on both sides of the cell, and I'm really leaning towards that I'm going to probably start doing that all over again. Because I was getting a more even uh, amp draw when I did that. All right, advanced hydrogen. Uh, seeing if anybody else is having this problem.